Hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and this is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. Please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not train for each and every um, Aries out there. Now, I do want to apologize for the very low quality of this video because my computer just busted out on me. So I have to record this uh, reading through my laptop actually. So um, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna look when I upload it, but yeah, I do apologize beforehand. So um, yeah, September is actually a very transformational month, especially for you guys because you know, a lot of things are happening in the sign of Aries right now. So I have already pre-shuffled the cards. So um, I may show you some bits of the cards and I may not, uh, but please do know that I did check on this. So um, yeah, uh, the first card that we have over here is the Hierophant card. So when I when I talk about Hierophant card, this is about you know some form of stability, some form of um, grounding and foundation being laid out and there is an element of seriousness maturity and responsibility all in the mix of things and it's being crossed over by the nine of one so uh, I feel that you are probably in a situation right now where in maybe you are craving some to some form of stability there is something that you know some form of major lesson is probably shaping up in this month of September for you guys. So I'm not saying that there's going to be a major lesson um, in the month, but it's more of, it's like you're getting ready to doing something. You're getting ready to, to correcting something. I do feel that, you know, a lot of the energies in place for the month of September has a lot to do with fixing things and correcting things. I did mention this on my um, forecast on my website. If you haven't seen that, please do so. In the stars by Chrissy.com, I did post a forecast for each and every sign in an astrological perspective. So you can check that out if that interests you. But um, in this reading we have here, let me show you guys the Hierophant card and the Nine of Wands all together. So um, yeah, maybe you are now at the point wherein you wanted to mature. There is something that you want to correct, make things right. The last card of your deck is actually very interesting. You have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Of cups altogether. I always take a look on the last card of the deck because I kind of feel that this is the lingering energy that you might be having or it has some form of influences into the reading for September or for that month that I'm reading on. So with this, it makes me feel that, you know, maybe there are, are some attachments still into the past that you are having and maybe that needs to be sorted out. And maybe this is the month wherein you are wanting to sort things out, actually. At your foundation, we have the King of Wands. So this is about you maybe making some form of planning. You are at that point of your life wherein you feel that something has to change you need to change something you know um being idle is not really the case right now it shows over here that in the recent past we have the king of cups and the king of cups is like the master when it comes to handling their emotions it doesn't really mean that they are really good with you know being grounded or anything like that in fact they are the type of person that they might be feeling quite a lot of things but um, you know all of the emotions is like bubbling up in, inside of them so it, it makes them a little bit of twisted in a way because of how much they are hiding what they truly feel so what they what they show to other people what they say to other people or not say to other people may not be exactly what they're feeling so it gives me a situation here wherein you have hidden your true feelings, your true emotions in the past. So you could be in a situation, I mean, it doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person that you are um, dealing with at this time. Um, this could be a person that has hidden themselves and not shown themselves to you. Or maybe there were other emotional conflicts that has occurred in the past. Um, into this relationship. So
so maybe they are already thinking about that if you have someone well if you have a, a, a partner or a previous partner that has a strong Aries rising or a strong Aries general um, energy so at the top of the reading we have the nine of cups so it is going to be showing up to you that at the end of the day what you truly feel is going to come out you won't be able to hide this anymore you won't be able to fool yourself if you are trying to you know trying to force forcing yourself to to act in a certain way wherein you don't really feel it so you are now coming to a point wherein you are going to show the world what you truly feel you are going to show your partner if you truly love them or if you truly don't so you are going to be acting maybe upon impulse or upon just being true to your own self um, in the near future we do have the three of pentacles so this is actually a very promising and good card um, in other decks this can actually you know talk about marriage talk about contracts communication and working together it's like a teamwork kind of energy so if you have been secluding yourself, isolating yourself, this is a point wherein you are maybe wanting to connect with someone, wanting to, to talk to someone, wanting to, um, to verify things, I would say. Uh, this is about, uh, has a lot to do with planning and, like I said, correcting something. Maybe, maybe some of you want to apologize or anything like that. Um, we have here the judgment card also at the the card that um, represents you as well, including with the hierophant card. So these are two major arcana cards. So I would say that there is really something going on for you for the month of September, like an urge to change, an urge to break through, break free. There is some form of stagnation happening in your life and that needs to change, that needs to, you know, shake up. I would say and we have here the nine of cups um, representing with the energy of the other person so this could be you know some form of wish coming from you wherein you want you there is an energy of you wanting to be romantic again maybe um, we also have here the world card along with the wheel of fortune so these are all you know transformational changes we're in there is a form of maturity happening and some form of karma or faith in the process of things. Your last card of the deck is actually the Two of Pentacles. So this is actually a point wherein you are at the point wherein you are at the verge of making a decision. What do you what you should do about this situation? Should I go for it? Should I not? Should, oh how is this relationship gonna pan out do i have some form of benefits in this relationship if i do pursue it or if if i don't so there are a lot of things going on over here as well but i do feel that you know you are going to a situation wherein there is a form of situation that needs to change first of all and you need to um overcome something there is some form of hard work and some form of responsibility coming in here as well along with partnerships maybe written partnerships or you know some form of messages coming in so i kind of feel here that you know there are official things that can begin or can be reignited or i would say you know it's like there, there are different possibilities on how this can actually manifest. This can be a way wherein you try to resolve a previous conflict that you had or some form of problem needs to be sorted out and there's going to be a lot of hard work and you are at the process of, you know, being a team player here. You're not being, you're not being selfish, not being um, on solo. Though some people might feel that you are, especially with the energies that are in place right now in an astrological perspective. We have Mars retrograde in your own sign. So that might, people might say that you are selfish, but on another perspective, that can actually make you reflective of your own passions, of your own feelings, on what really 
urges you to move forward with life. So, and that can be, you know, something to to think about when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to love as well. In your astro dice, it's very interesting because we do have here Mars in the sign of Virgo in your 8th house. So 8th house has a lot to do with, you know, the connections that you have with your partner or with a specific person. So that is definitely giving us a sign that this is definitely relating to a relationship. And there could be some form of complexities in that relationship because 8th house is a very difficult house. And with Mars in the sign of Virgo right there manifesting for us, you know, maybe with the new moon in the sign of Virgo happening this month and something can actually change maybe the hard work that you are going to be putting in the relationship is going to be manifesting in that area of your life Aries so either way this is you know something that you have to think thoroughly this is not something that you are going to be doing in a very impulsive level even though that you might feel that you're doing it impulsively I feel that you're not you're actually thinking about it very passionately so, um, yeah, um, there is also an energy here with, um, I'm actually using also another deck, and it's from John Holland, the Psychic Tarot deck. So we do have here Fertility and the Waiting Game. So it does tell us that maybe this is a, a situation that you have been pondering on for quite some time now. We do have also Prosperity Begins, which is all about another another new beginning. Energy, passion ignited. And like I said, you know, this is, you know, going to really bring out your your own feelings, what you truly feel. And then at we also have here the transformation card, which is also called the death card, but it's basically telling us all about change. So there could be a lot of realization and a lot of things to deal about. You need to face quite a lot of things. And I kind of feel that, you know, the actions that you do is not going to be very immediate. It's going to be on a very gradual level. So any actions that you do, any forward movement, I kind of feel that you might work on them, start initiating them maybe at the middle of the month or when the new moon in Virgo already occurs. Overall, this is a very forward movement energy that is happening for all Aries out there. And I would say that even though it's not in this reading, we are already at this phase of moving forward, um, even on an astrology perspective all at the same time. Um, it's just that, you know, it's very interesting how astrology always lines up with the readings that we have over here. So, um, yeah, so there are things of the past that you need to to face, you know. This is not about running away. This is about facing them. This is not about you being unable to move forward because you keep going back to the past. In, instead, you are actually trying to remedy something in the past so that you can move forward or maybe you know maybe you and that person can finally move forward with whatever situation that you guys have so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me this is my reading for you guys i do apologize for any inconvenience on this video and that i wasn't able to show all of the cards so um yeah but i hope that this insight will help you one way or another so um yeah if you do want a more personal reading with me you can do that by booking a session through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month